Good evening, parents, administrators, inductees, members, and guests. Welcome to our virtual National Art Honor Society induction ceremony. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, I would like to introduce our advisor, Ms. Amy Fairweather. The National Art Honor Society is an organization whose purpose is to inspire and recognize students who have shown outstanding ability in and dedication to art and to bring an artistic awareness to our school and community. Our chapter, Chapter 1006 of the National Art Honor Society, is pleased to welcome you to our 2021 Member Induction Ceremony, where we will be inducting 21 new members, bringing our current membership to 56. I am so proud of each and every one of them for their participation and dedication, especially during this most challenging of times. I would like to introduce Jack Lally, our chapter vice president, to give the explanation of the elements of art to our members. Color comes from the sun to all things on the earth. Line is the edge of all things on the earth. Form is the mass of the earth. Texture is the surface of all the earth. Space is the void the emptiness. Balance is equality and harmony. Movement is time and energy passing. Now our chapter president, Vanessa Hasbrook, will lead the members in our pledge. All members and inductees, please raise your right hand and repeat after me our pledge. I will in my life, to the best of my ability, through my talents and art, help to create a more beautiful world for myself, for humankind, and for all living things. Our chapter vice president will now light the society's candles. Now, let's get to know our chapter officers. Hi, I'm chapter president Vanessa Hasbrook. Art has always been an important aspect of my life. Whether it be in dance or visual art, I love the way art allows me to express myself. I have been involved in set painting and art clubs since my freshman year, and I've taken visual art one and two, studio art one honors, and I'm currently taking AP Studio. Hi, I'm the chapter's vice president, Jack Lally, and I am currently enrolled in studio art with Mrs. Fairweather and art history with Mrs. Markson. I also do art club and I take part in set painting for the school musical. The art department at Walk Hill has given me a chance to get involved and express myself, and I'm very thankful I've taken advantage of these opportunities because I've gotten some of the best memories from it. Hi, I'm Secretary Kelly DeFinis, and I've been a member of the National Art Honor Society since I was a sophomore. I have taken Visual Arts 1, Visual Arts 2, Graphic Design 1, Studio Art 1 Honors, and I am currently enrolled in AP Studio Art, AP Art History, and Digital Media Arts. I was a member of the Art Club and Photo Club. My pencil drawing from Visual Arts 2 was chosen to be displayed at Newton's Judicial Branch. I also designed the logo for Walk Hill's Legally Blonde musical two years ago, which was featured on the t-shirts and the playbill. I have a passion for art and fashion, which I hope to pursue as a career in the future, starting with a major in fashion merchandising. Hi, I'm Treasurer CJ Kula. Art will always be an important part of my life wherever I go. I've tried to make art a part of my life at home and at school. I've taken digital photography and I'm taking AP Art History this year. I'm very grateful for the opportunities that have been given to me in these classes in NAHS and at Walk Hill, and I hope to take these lessons with me in the future. Hi, I am historian Amy Manej. Art is very important in my life. It is an avenue for expression and creativity. I'm currently in Studio Art 1 and plan to pursue film in my future endeavors. Hi, I am Activities Chair Danielle Berry, and I am currently in Studio Art 1. I enjoy expressing my love of art through my daily life. Now, President Vanessa, Secretary Kelly, and Treasurer CJ will introduce the remaining formally inducted members. Marina Bakovic. Art has always been an important part of Marina's life. She is currently in AP Art History, and she has taken multiple art classes in the past. She hopes to take more classes in the future. Lindsay Bertoa. 
Lindsay loves the different aspects of art. Her favorite way to express is through photography. She took visual one and two and is now taking photography. She hopes to gain more art skills by taking pictures of all the beauty in the world. Sophia Clohesi. Sophie has grown up with art being an integral part of her life. She was raised by two people who have a great amount of artistic ability that she has worked on shared projects with. Being surrounded by artists made it impossible for her not to pick up the pencil herself. She has painted multiple murals with her mother and worked on many projects on her own. Although she does not want to be in the same field as her parents, art will forever have a huge impact on her life. Paige Cochio. Art has always been an important part in Paige's life. She is currently taking Pottery Studio Honors and also took photography last year. In her free time, she likes to paint and draw. Fiona Cummings. Fiona has always been creating things, whether it be teaching herself to crochet or filming and editing videos. Now she is putting her creative energy into her artwork. Caitlin Zifra. Caitlin enjoys expressing her passions and emotions through drawing and painting. Her favorite media is watercolor and pen. Samantha Jaworski. Art has been a part of Samantha's life in every form, thanks to her dad's encouragement and mother's support. Zoe Kazurski. Since a very young age, art has been an important staple in Zoe's life. She uses art as a way to express her creativity and feelings. Similar to many, Zoe can always turn to art for comfort or relaxation. Peyton Kane. Art has affected every aspect of Peyton's life for as long as she can remember. It has given her so many unforgettable opportunities and has allowed her to meet and work with such amazing people. Art has shaped her as a person and has given her an outlet to enjoy and express herself. Ashley Keegan. What art means to Ashley is expression. Through clothing, colors, and style, it can show personality, individuality, and creativity. Delaney Corger. Art has always been an important part of Delaney's life. It's been a hobby for a long time for her and a potential career path she hopes to pursue. Coco Lin. Art has always played a prominent role in Coco's life. It has given Coco an opportunity to express herself and has helped her become more confident. Things that she cannot say are presented through her works. Carly McGinnis. Art has been in her life since she was little and it was always surrounding her. Art makes her see the world from a lot of different perspectives, good, beautiful, and dangerous. It always gives her a way to clear her head when she is feeling overwhelmed. Amanda Montague. Art has always been an important part of Amanda's life because through art, she is able to gain an appreciation of cultures, history, and tradition. Also through art, Amanda can express herself and escape to another world. Joey Mueller. Joey has always been connected to and passionate about art learning from his dad from a very young age. He is currently pursuing art by drawing, painting, and learning about visual media and film. Julie Murphy. Art is an important part of Julie's life. She's taken digital photography and visual one and plans on taking advanced photography next year in order to learn more about the world of photography and editing. Emily O'Brien. Emily has always had a deep appreciation for art and it is a large part of her life. She is currently in Studio Art Honors and hopes to attend a New York art school and work in an art-related field in her future. Isabella O'Neill. Art has been a huge part of Isabella's life. She has always been infatuated with the way colors would swirl in the paintings that her grandmother painted. The way she would so effortlessly paint a picture made Isabella who she is today in her art career. Claudia Pignataro. Claudia has always had a love for photography and being part of the photography and pottery class at Walk Hill has helped her mental health significantly. Being in National Art Honor Society will help her expand her love for art and helping others. Randall Xavier Roundoffs. Randall is in the AP Art this year. Randall specializes in graffiti art. He enjoys the mystery of art and that is what drives him to make his work form an atmosphere of its own. Gianna Sankowitz. Gianna is currently enrolled in Visual Art 2 and she hopes to keep art as a part of her life always. Sage Slater. Art has always been an important part of Sage's life. She has enjoyed drawing since she was little and for her, creative paintings are a fun way to pass time. Sage uses different types of art to express how she feels when words can't and hopes to continue creating throughout her life. 
Alexa Spector. Lexi uses art to express herself. Her main focus is the fashion industry and is planning on pursuing a career in the fashion world. Drawing is her number one go-to when she's feeling stressed. Not only does it make her feel better, she uses it as a statement for herself and her personal interests. Isabel Stecker. Art has always had a lot of importance in Isabel's life. It's been a great way for her to express what she can't put into words. She is in studio pottery this year and hopes to make some special pieces. Kendall Whitford. Kendall's love for all things art started in her early childhood and has resulted in hundreds of pieces of artwork she's created throughout the years. Although her future is undecided, Kendall knows that art will remain an essential part of her life. At this time, I would like to introduce our guest speaker, professional photographer, graphic designer, author, professor, and advocate and supporter of our fine and performing arts program, Paul Michael Kane, who also happens to be Peyton's dad. Hey guys, my name is Paul Michael Kane, and it is an absolute honor and privilege to be speaking with you guys during your National Art Honor Society induction. Believe me, I know this isn't how we wanted it to go. I'd much rather be there watching you guys receive your honors in person, but this is what we have, and we're almost through it. We're almost, there's light at the end of the tunnel. We're almost there. I do want to take a moment to uh, acknowledge the amazing work of your teachers, uh, Amy Fairweather, Rebecca Markson, and Mary Rose Patanka, for the amazing job that they've done with this past year. And this past year has been a challenge. There is no doubt about that. But when I see uh, what they inspire in you guys, the student body, uh, the output that I've seen both in the school and online, I am never not in awe of what I see. And to be that effective and be that inspiring with all the other challenges happening in our lives right now is just very, very special. And I hope you guys realize just how amazing your teachers are. And I know maybe we're not doing applause, but guys, a standing ovation for getting us through this year. Um, and it has been a crazy year, right? There's been a global pandemic, lockdowns everywhere. And what has gotten us through all of this, in large part, is the arts. There has been a uh, just content developed everywhere, whether you're watching movies or watching TV, uh, reading books or comic books or graphic novels, playing video games, all of that, the arts, listening to music, that's the arts. And as a career, I'll put that aside for a second, uh, as a regular person watching social media and seeing people pick up paintbrushes for the first time because they're bored, because they want to try something new and finding that they have a talent for it, it's just been, it's been an artistic renaissance during this past year, this lockdown, this pandemic. Uh, flipping back over to a career, watching unemployment rate rise and people losing their jobs in all sorts of uh, careers. My job as an artist, a photographer, a typographer, a graphic designer, I've never been busier because, and this is, this is huge, this is proof positive that nothing stops art. Not even a global pandemic, not even lockdowns. Art flourishes, art thrives. And the fact that you guys are receiving, uh, being inducted into the National Art Honor Society during a global pandemic shows that art thrives and flourishes in the most adverse of um, circumstances. So congratulations to the student body for receiving these honors. A really quick note to the parents and to the family who support that, a career in the arts has been one of the most rewarding decisions I've ever made. When I took my first steps into the journey of becoming a creative professional, I could not have imagined the wild and exciting career that it would be uh, to this day. And to support your kids who want to get into the arts and you know when your kid says I want to paint for a living or I want to sing for a living or I want to play the ukulele for a living and to have you support that that is very special so uh, I want to take a moment to recognize that as well and in closing I wanted to keep this short and sweet because the last thing you guys want to do is sit behind another computer watching another person speak 
in closing, uh, art is everywhere. Art thrives, art flourishes, art is uh, ubiquitous. It is everywhere. And congratulations on this amazing honor. And I cannot wait to see what you guys do and where you guys go in the creative fields. So congratulations again. We're almost through this. We'll see you on the other side. Congratulations. Thank you, Paul, for your continued support of our program. Now it's time to meet our new members. They've already received the Society's PIN and membership certificate. My name is Nora Buabed. Art has always been an important part of my life. Coming from Middle Eastern descent, I am constantly exposed to the historic and ornate art pieces from that artistic region. The ability to be creative and give people insight of what I truly feel through art has always served as an inspiration to me and my love for art continues to grow every day. Art has always been an important part of my life. I took Art One as a freshman and joined an art group in my middle school at Franklin. I have studied and tried to improve my art over the years, and without art, I don't know who I would be today. My name is Erin Anderson. Art has been an important part of my life for many years. I have taken Visual One at Wallkill, and I am planning on taking more art classes in the future. I believe that art is not only used to express how I feel, it is used to create my experiences with the world. I use art to spark my imagination and help invoke my emotions into a painting or drawing. No matter how young or old someone is, art can inspire anyone to express how they feel and encourage success. Hello, my name is Marvell, and I have fallen in love with the aesthetics of art. I can't exactly claim myself as experienced with it because I am not. However, Art is what drives my curiosity and passion. It has been something that kept me going, sort of my motorboat. I'm also very passionate about writing and believe the advancement of my art skills would sharpen my writing skills as well. In my own definition of art, art is something that you create and share with others. It is a story that defines part of who you are. I aspire to inspire others to keep thriving just the way they are, as there's nothing as important as one expressing him or herself truly. I want to inspire others to use art as a voice and to make people happy when they do see my artwork. I would, it is my hopeful goal to contribute to the art society in any possible way as I can. Thank you and have a good rest of your day. My name is Anthony Japera. I've always had a passion for art. For some time, it's been a way for me to express myself in ways nothing else can. It's an escape from stress, sadness, and many other things. When you're in the quote zone, working on an art project, nothing can stop you. Art, more specifically pottery and photography, give me a platform to express my emotions and personality. Over the past year and a half, art has truly become one of the biggest and most important parts of my life. When I was in middle school, I excelled in art classes, going above and beyond on most projects. However, my first year of high school, I did not take an art class. It wasn't until my sophomore year, when I stepped into the pottery room for the first time, that my spark and passion for art rekindled. It was the most amazing feeling in the world, expressing myself through 3D sculptures. Although I had to work within certain guidelines for projects I was doing, I pushed those guidelines and made my projects an extension of myself. Art has taught me a, va a valuable life lesson. There are always going to be rules you must follow. However, you can be your best and most free self within those guidelines and still be so happy and free. My name is Sydney Corbin. I've been involved with art ever since I was a toddler. It's my way of expressing myself and I enjoy all aspects of art and always will. Hello, my name is Tara Davis. My relationship towards art is that I can express myself through fashion. I started getting into fashion when I was 14 years old and started to collect magazines. I discovered in magazines how every celebrity has their own unique style in art that has inspired me. After I collected magazines, I started cutting out pictures and creating a wallpaper around my closet door. When I looked at my door, I see art because of the style of their clothes that they wear, their mood and creativity throughout their fashion. My name is Nicole DeFinnis and I've taken Visual Arts 1 and I'm excited for more art classes in the coming years. I am interested in photography, videography and fashion. I love showing my emotion in my artwork. I believe that art is a way to express creativity. Hi, my name is Esmerlinda Gonzalez Munoz and I've been around art my whole life. It's one way I love to distract myself when I'm bored. I want to be a school psychologist and using art is one way I want kids or teenagers to cope with their emotions and express themselves. 
My name is Susanna Quax, and art has always been my form of creativity and self-expression. I've taken multiple art classes at Walk Hill, and I can't wait to take art into my future with me. Hello, my name is Christina Leonard. I am 17 years old, and art has always had a huge impact on my life. Throughout my whole life, I have always been able to see the beauty in things. I have been told countless times that I have a creative mind. To me, art is my main form of expression and it helped me get through rough times in my life. Art is more than just a word to me. I look at it as a lifestyle. The people who are chosen have the gift of creativity. That is a gift I will always cherish. My name is Megan Latelier. I'm interested in creating and designing art in the future. I've taken Pottery 1 and Pottery 2 and I plan on taking studio pottery and AP art history. I'm interested in real estate and interior design, and I feel that these classes can help me find my own design and interpretations in art. Hi, my name is Natalia Minowski, and I've always wanted to be involved in art, but it was hard for me to get into it. Coming into high school, I knew I wanted to take pottery to try and express myself in a different way. I took pottery one, and now I participate in pottery two. These classes have helped me become more creative and visual. It has also helped me express my feelings in a different way and allowed me to use my favorite colors and incorporate the things I love into my work. And it is a new thing that I've come to love. My name is Kyle Miller, and after completing the photography course at Walk Hill with flying colors, I learned to view a subject multiple times before coming to a verdict. My time behind the camera lens has given me the ability to view the world in a unique and beautiful way. My name is Cindy Morales and I have taken an interest in art from a young age. I come from a family of artists of many different kinds. My mother is a cook, my sister is a digital artist and painter, my brother is in the performance arts, and my younger brother designs clothes and makes sculptures. I have been raised in art in Wallkill. I have taken art since I was a freshman specializing in photography, but on the side I was drawing digitally and traditional editing photos, taking photos of my own, and sculpting with clay. I also have sewn clothes and have many other side interests. I was in the photography club for one year and helped to take pictures around the school for Miss Patanka. I'm currently in digital media arts, visual one, pottery and crafts, and AP art history. I love to draw and write to express the experiences I've had. I also enjoy making my own clothes and DIY projects to better express myself. My name is Andrea Pijasanta. I have a strong relationship with art. I love to express it in everyday life. I value creativity and originality in paintings because it reveals a person's own unique take on art. I strive to incorporate this mindset in everyday life. My name is Julian. I have been creating artwork since I was very young. I find comfort in the self-expression that comes with every piece. I love using line work and ink to fill pages, and I use my chaotic mind to create equally as chaotic pieces of art. I plan to continue with art for the rest of my life, and I will never lose my desire to put my work out into the world. My name is Kelly Roth. Last year, I was a part of Visual Arts 1, and I'm currently taking pottery and crafts. Next year, I plan on enrolling into Visual Arts 2. Art is a type of way to express my thinking and my ideas. It relieves the stress of the world as I can relax and create something that is meaningful for me. In my future endeavors, I would like to show people how art can affect their lives in a positive and uplifting way. Hello, my name is Damien Schultz, and art has always been a big aspect of my life. From a young age, I grew a liking to drawing, and from this, as well as my dad's musical influence, STEM will become my modern-day love of art. Today, my love for art comes in the form of four subdivisions music, photography, literature, and painting. I dabble in all four of these categories as much as possible, both in school and out, and plan on continuing to do so for years to come. After high school, I would like to pursue a career in the music industry, or maybe even become a photojournalist. Music's ability to convey a message and provoke so much emotion and change for thousands of years has always fascinated me, and I hope to one day be a part of this. Hi, my name is Michaela Snyder. I have taken Visual Arts 1 and I'm currently taking Digital Photography. Art gives me the opportunity to express my creativity. I like taking photographs of objects, people, and nature to show many different aspects of a subject. I would like to further my art career at Walk Hill Valley by taking the next level class, Advanced Photography. My name is Jaden Wilhelm. Art. 
and more specifically photography, has always been a bit of a hobby of mine. Whether it be taking photos with my mom's camera when I was a child, or going on hikes with my friends to take photos of nature, it has always been something that I've enjoyed. When entering high school and hearing about a photography course I could take, I was excited to know I could take my interest one step further and learn from an actual teacher about photography. I am grateful while Kill Valley offers a photography program for me, as it's really helped me explore my interests a lot more in depth than I could on my own. In the future, I wish to pursue something photography related and hope that I'm able to continue expressing my art to others and keep doing what I love. Congratulations to all of our new members. I would now like to recognize our graduating senior members. Seniors are pictured wearing a National Art Honor Society cord and will be wearing it at the graduation ceremony in June. This cord represents the countless hours that they have given to our cause of bringing an artistic awareness to our school and community. Lindsay Bertoa. Paige Cochio. Caitlin Zifra. Kelly DeFinis. Esmerlinda Gonzalez Munoz. Vanessa Hasbrook. CJ Kula. Jack Lally. Natalia Mianowski. Sydney Morales. Isabella O'Neill. Claudia Pignataro. Randall Ramdas. Isabel Stecker. And Amy Winej. Now Jack will give the Society's charge to our members. Take of the world its colors and forms, its lines and textures, its balances of movements and spaces. Combine all of these into a beautiful statement of what it is to be human. Give back to the world the same element of beauty that you as an artist take from it. Create beauty in the world with your talents and your living. That concludes our ceremony. Thank you for watching and continuing to support us in our endeavor to make the world a more beautiful place. Please follow our Instagram at wvrhs.art and keep an eye out for our upcoming Art Invitational. Have a great evening and stay safe.